Yo, what is going on guys, it's Crime Game Development here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make an animation for your game in RenPy um, using Daz 3D. So basically when you launch Daz, you'll see something like this with all your files, but I am already selected on poses, you can ignore that, but um, yeah, so you're going to be loaded in here, and one thing I want to mention is if you want your lady to look a little higher quality, um, you need to click on this thing where my mouse is hovering and go to texture shaded. I forget what the default is, but I know it looks pretty bad and you can't really see your textures. Um, so yeah, make sure you click this and do texture, texture shaded and it looks a lot better. Um, then basically we can already start animating. Make sure you have your character selected. Um, pretty important. The stuff you try to do if you don't have it selected just won't look right. Um, and yeah. So now that we're ready to start, we're just going to click on timeline here and up this to 60 frames per second. Um, obviously we like 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second is good. And right now she is just T-posing. So I'm going to give her a default pose to start. Um, just so it looks a little bit better and she's not T-posing at the start. So I'm just going to go to poses and just select one. I'll do just the basic walking one. Um, and there you go. She is starting to walk. Um, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Um, got this pose here. And now what we can do now that she is starting with this pose is we can go up to however long we want it to take for her to transition to this next pose. Um, I'm going to go to 55 and actually I'll go to 50 and give her this waving pose. Um, and what this will do is it'll make a transition from the basic pose to the waving pose in basically 50 frames. So we want to take a look at this here. Um, just hit play and you'll see it is giving her you know, she's basically waving, saying, hey, what's up? Um, and that is just a basic animation, and yeah, it looks all right to me. But I'm actually going to stop this and just remove everything we just did. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because there's also the option you can do of uh, basically using one of the default animations, um, or animations you buy, for example, and using one of those. So I'm not sure which one we want to use. We can do the dancing. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Um, and all you want to do when you have this is you just want to click on it. If you click it twice, it'll just load in. Alright, so I have no idea why, but it wasn't working and I had to close Daz and relaunch it. But now if I pick one of these, um, say, the Staying Alive one again and I double click it, you will see it animates that all for me. So now at frame zero, she'll start this animation all the way up to... Um, 150 because you know that's just how long the animation takes so yeah it automatically upped my um, amount of frames and yeah you'll see this whole animation here um, is done throughout that so another way to do it is by using you know these default animations they give you if you don't want to sit there and create your own I believe there's also some on the shop you could buy and yeah that's just another way to do it um, so if you don't want to create your own, you can do it this way as well as you can edit these animations, right? Like you could uh, again, go to like frame 30 and start the smile, um, whatever you could edit it your own way if you wanted. Um, but now that you're done with that, you are going to want to go to render settings, um, here and just go to all. And yeah, you can see here that, um, there's a lot of stuff and it can be a little overwhelming, but basically all you need to do here, and it's really simple, is just change render type from still image. Um, because if it's on still image, it's only capturing that one frame, um, whatever is active in the viewport and make it to image series. Um, so you switch that to image series and then you're going to want to have the render range. So our animation is from zero to 148. So that's fine, it automatically updated this for us, but if you started, for example, not on frame zero, you could switch this to whatever frame you started on and whatever frame you ended on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that you're done, you're gonna want to just render it, and yeah, I'm gonna click render. Um, you can either click this button or this button, doesn't matter which, um, and then see what it looks like. So yeah, I will show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so we are back with the animation, and this is pretty much what the animation looks like. Let's let it play. 
and uh, yeah there you have it so a pretty clean animation it looks great um and one thing i wanted to mention is in render settings if you switch this to movie instead of image series you won't have to put it in a video editor um you know it's just as good uh this takes up obviously a lot less space and you know you can run it as many times as you want um so yeah it just renders like the whole 148 frames but if you wanted to not put that in a video editor and not set it to a frame each and whatever, you could just render it as a movie. It'll come out as an AVI file, um, which obviously you could put in a video editor and export as an MP4 file. Um, so this is another way to do it. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to point that out and make it... Um, you know, also mention that if you don't want to go through a lot of extra work, you can switch the render setting to... Um, movie instead of image series but just so you know most people um, at most um, people that do high quality renders and really good renders do the image series now I'm not sure exactly why this is um, it could just be a quality thing um, could just be the ability to um, I, I have no idea take up less space maybe um, or just to save time I really don't know the answer but um, yeah so you can do either or, or. If you're doing the images, you will have to put all these images into a video editor, and um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I hope this video made sense, um, and I hope it helped you create your first animations, and yeah, I will just see you guys later. Peace.